Welcome back students. In today's video, I am going to explain you the concentric circle method, construction of ellipse. If a concentric circle method is given, the question will be like draw you uh, using a major axis and the minor axis of dimension 160 ellipse uh, using concentric method. Sometimes they won't be giving anything like major axis, minor axis. They'll ask you to construct just simply the question is that construct ellipse using concentric circle method. So, what we are supposed to do first here is we are supposed to work out the radius of this is nothing but the diameter of the bigger circle and the smaller circle. So, we are supposed to work out the diameters with respect to diameter this radius is 50 and this radius is 30 is not it. So, we are supposed to work out the circles using your compass. So, I am taking a reading of 50 along the scale and drawing a circle let the point is a center and draw a circle the outer circle. For a concentric circle method we have two circles here the outer circle I mean the external circle and the internal circle and the internal circle dimension is 30 I mean its diameter is taken 60. So, its radius is 30. So, with the same center position locating your one of the leg and with the pencil you are supposed to work out the other circle and its dimension is all about radius 30 dear students. Now, you are supposed to divide these two circles into equal number of divisions in order to work out the construction process. First, I am going to divide it into four equal divisions. Dear students, please do draw this vertical and horizontal line only using drafter and do not do it a, a plain scale. Now, I want to divide this circle the external circle into 12 equal divisions. I hope you know how to divide a circle. A video is already uploaded in my channel the easiest method of working out the circle. Now, I am going to give the number like let this be A and B, C and D. Now, radius is radius of the external circle I mean 60, 50 and C as the center mark cutting an arc either sides. Similarly, B as the center and with the same radius we are supposed to work out or you can go with 360 divided by 12 that gives you 30 degree angle with the help of pro circle or you can work out using this also dear students. Now, later at the final you can go with D and cut either sides of the arc. Later, you are supposed to work out the divisions draw the diagonals to this from the center so that you are going to get equal number of divisions. Why you are supposed to take the 12 equal divisions is we are going to trace a free hand curve so that we are supposed to locate 12 equal divisions. I hope you are already done with how to divide a circle into equal number of divisions. This is all about how to work out the concentric circle method dear students. Sometimes other than eccentricity method they are going to ask even this method also in the examination as is the external circle and this is the internal circle. Now, the construction start the process starts from now uh, here I write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 this is being divided into 12 equal division. From the outer circle I am going to work out from the point here from 6 a, a vertical line and from the same uh, circle I mean the same line passing from the center from here I am going to work out the horizontal line. So, if you look here there is an intersection of these two points this is nothing but P 6 dear students later even from all the points from the outer circle draw a vertical line then later you are going to draw a horizontal line and this is related to the point 5. So, this is all about P 5 and later you are going to 3 the 4 remains 4 that is flat all the time is not it. Now, from 3 as well as from the inner circle a horizontal line. So, you are going to get P 3 here similarly from 2 a vertical line and from uh, the inner circle you are going to work out this. So, that you are going to get a smooth curve if you are following this method. Now, I go with 8 from 8 you are going to drop a vertical line and from the inner circle intersection you are going to work out the horizontal line. So, here we got one more intersection similarly you are going to walk even for 9 a vertical line and from the inner circle a point of intersection is here that is all about P 9. 
later we are supposed to go with 11 a vertical line and from the inner circle I am going to draw a this point of intersection is all about P 11. Finally, we have come up with the 12th intersection from here a vertical line and from the internal circle the other line which is nothing but the horizontal line. So, this is a point of intersection of 12. If you look here dear students you got several points of intersection. You can locate all these points using a free hand curve or a French curve. If you are good at free hand please try to work out the free hand from 10. I am going to make first dots touching these points all the to the internal circle. So, this gives us the construction of ellipse using concentric circle method. So, even from here you are supposed to join all these points so that the final curve which we are going to trace is said to be an ellipse using concentric circle method. Hope you are liking my videos and for more videos you are supposed to subscribe as well as share this videos with your friends. Now, with a HB pencil without lifting your hand you are supposed to trace these all points or you can just go with the French hand French curves. You can go even with a free hand or a curves. If you are good at free hand please do work out with free hand without lifting your hand so that that gives you a better curve and the final curve need to be worked out all the time using HB pencil only dear students. This is how you are supposed to work out the concentric circle method and do not forget to write the dimensions of this the external circle as well as the internal circle. This all gives you a better impression and good marks in your examination. Do not forget to draw the arrowheads and those arrowheads should be neat and filled arrowheads and the dimension is given is as 100 and the internal diameter is given as 50. Make sure to carry all your instruments as you have worked out for the 16 weeks program on in mechanics I mean mechanical subject that is all about engineering graphics. So, you are supposed to clear this subject in a single attempt. So, this is all about pi 60 and do not forget to write concentric circle method ellipse. This is how you are supposed to work out dear students. Hoping to see you all in the next video. Thank you.